What is happening YouTube, fellow knifeaholics and flashaholics? And on this fine day, I guess that's more flashaholics because we're talking about old flashlights and LED upgrades for old flashlights once again. If you saw my last video like this, so we were talking about the old classic Fulton Model 991 Englehead flashlight in use by the US military for so many years and how the light output from the old style PR6 or PR2 bulb or whatever it's called was not all that great and you could replace it with an LED upgrade the LED module from super bright LEDs where you get so they claim anyway about 130 lumens total output and uh, again I have no idea if it's anywhere near the output that they claim, but it's definitely quite the improvement over the old incandescent bulb from before. It's a lot brighter, you get a much better beam pattern. And I said this would also be a good upgrade for an older style mag light that still uses the old incandescent bulb. And it still is, I'll still stand by that claim. This is a good upgrade for both lights, the Fulton or the mag. If you want to put some put some more life into an old flashlight. Since then though, since making that video, I found an upgrade specifically for the mag light that will only fit the mag light. And it's a good thing to have because if you have one of these old mag lights with the incandescent bulb, you know that it's not all that bright. Again, we're talking about 30 lumens or so, something like that not all that much and if we're going to be fair with the deep deep reflectors you have in these lights it can take that little bit of light and throw it pretty far maybe all the way across your backyard or whatever but let's face it compared to any modern powerful LED flashlight you know the size of my thumb even <laughs> some of them all the little through nights and O lights and all those others it's not really all that much until you start searching around on eBay like I did and you find the eBay store TTS which is literally the torch store or the torch source was it I want to say it was the torch store yeah they thought long and hard about that name didn't they or again they have different upgrades for different mag lights. Maybe you have the one with the shorter handle that uses 2D batteries or the longer version, the 3D battery version. Again, you need to be careful that you order the right one. That is... Oh, there's me in the reflector. Hi. You find this LED module on the TTS eBay store. Oh yeah, which they claim puts out 220 lumens. And again, just like before, I don't have any way of measuring that exactly. But what a difference. You can take your old, old flashlight and make it a lot more powerful. I'll post a link to the eBay store in the description. Let's take a look at this. This is the one I had in my blue mag light. This is the 2D version. Again, be extra, extra careful. You order the right one for the right flashlight. Well, that's what it looks like. So let's take out that incandescent bulb out of the mag light and compare the two side by side. And again, if you have one of these older style mag lights, you know your metal collar here just unscrews and your incandescent bulb comes out. Now let's compare them side by side. And if you saw my previous video where I talked about the LED upgrade from super bright LEDs, you saw that the LED module I showed then had a skinnier, narrower socket more like the incandescent bulb here. We compare those two 
you can see the TTS LED is quite a bit wider in the socket because it's designed to fit the mag light specifically. Nothing else that I know of. As far as I know, it'll fit just the large D battery, maybe the C battery style mag light. I'd have to read their side again to be absolutely sure of that. And so, we will replace this underwhelming bulb with this. It's going to go in your 2D mag light. Screw that retaining ring, that metal collar on just like before. And there you go. Put our reflector back on. And I've already tried these outside at night. I might post some beam shots at the end of this video once it gets dark tonight. Just so you can see for yourself. You don't just have to take my word for it, but yeah. What an improvement that is for an old flashlight. And I want to say these modules weren't exactly cheap. They're like 15 bucks a piece. But look at it this way. You already have the older style mag light, and it would be cheaper, say, than getting a whole new mag light with a factory LED already installed. Maglite claims this puts out 168 lumens. Again, I have no way of measuring that for sure. To me, though, the factory LED maglite still looks a little bit brighter than the incandescent maglite with the LED upgrade. Maybe it's just because it's focused into a tighter hotspot again. You got your factory LED maglite on the left, which maglite claims is 168 lumens, and TTS claims you're getting 200 and 60 with their module on the right. No way of measuring that to know if these are putting out anywhere near what the companies claim. But if you weigh your two options, if you already have the older incandescent mag light, you can spend 15 bucks and get this LED upgrade, or you can spend 30 bucks and just get the whole thing, get the factory LED mag light. So there's a little bit of an interesting story behind these two mag lights that I have now. These were the mag lights we had in the back of the IMAX theater at the museum where I work. Well, formerly an IMAX theater. Can't call it that anymore. It's what's known as a giant screen theater. But it's basically the same thing as an IMAX. You obviously have, a, have your large screen and full 4K resolution, your crazy high picture quality, and so many thousands of watts of surround sound, all that jazz, all that good stuff. For the first 15 or 20 years, while it was still considered an IMAX theater, these were the lights they had at the back of the theater for bringing in people late, you know, when the theater was dark and the house lights were down. The whole time, they were running these old incandescent bulbs. There was so much light reflected back from the screen when the theater was dark sometimes that uh, you wouldn't even know the flashlight was turned on. You would turn it on, shine it at the floor to show the person where to go and you couldn't even tell the light was even turned on. It was crazy. And I want to say right there, yep, on the body of the light, I don't know if you can, you can see that or not, you can still see IMAX scratched into the body of the light there. So that's really cool. One of our high-ranking officials there at the theater, um, I guess she would be considered a supervisor. When we upgraded to a giant screen theater, she got some more powerful LED flashlights. And as you can clearly see, these are pretty beaten up. These lights have taken a beating. And this red one when I got it, had a leaky battery stuck inside of it down here in the end of the handle. One of the batteries was just split open at the top and the battery acid leaked out and crusted up inside of here. And she was just going to throw this away. And I told her, no, don't throw it away. I'll, I'll buy these old flashlights off of you if you don't want them anymore. 
and she just let me have them totally free of charge. So I thought that was cool. So I brought this light home, took the tail cap off and stood it up in a glass of just plain old distilled white vinegar. And the distilled white vinegar turned the battery acid all soft and mushy again and I was able to get the, uh, the leaky batteries unstuck. Now it's as good as new. Actually, let's face it, it's better than new. It has an LED in it now. So yeah, the TTS LED upgrade. 260 lumens, so they claim. I will link to it in the description. Don't throw that old mag light away, is basically what I'm saying. Get yourself a TTS LED and put some new life into it. Alright, well it is night time in Florida. It is a dark night with no moon. It's kind of scary out here in the backyard behind the shed where it's really, really dark. So I'm going to attempt to make this quick. Do some beam shots with these two maglets and do some comparisons. First off, there is the 2D maglite with the standard incandescent bulb. Play around with the focus a little bit. It's about as tight as I can get it to focus right there. It's not all that much, only about, again, 30 lumens or so. Compared to a factory LED mag light. Wow. The difference is almost laughable. You can't even see the beam from the incandescent one anymore. So turn off the LED and whoop, there it is. <laughs> what a difference that makes. So that's the standard factory mag light with the LED already installed. So let's turn that off. And I will reinstall the TTS LED upgrade into the incandescent one. And then we'll compare them again here in just a minute. Twelve seconds later. Alright, I've got my TTS upgrade reinstalled in the old mag light. Now let's compare them again. Again, on your right, we have the factory LED mag light. 168 lumens, so they claim. And then on your left is the mag light with the TTS upgrade. And I can see now the camera sitting slightly lopsided. Oh well. So you can see the brightness is definitely similar. I don't know if the camera is picking up the difference in the beam pattern or not, but the focus is a little bit tighter on the LED mag light on your right. Slightly wider beam with the TTS, but still a big Big improvement over the incandescent bulb. So I said it in the last clip, but I'll say it again. Don't get rid of that old mag light. Get a TTS LED. Save it. Make it bright again. It's definitely a good upgrade. And yes, I definitely recommend getting it. Check it out. I'm going to go inside where it's not dark and scary. It's not the sounds of neighbors' dogs barking at me. And critters moving in the bushes where I can't see them. So I can edit this video and upload it to you. And that is all I have got to say about that.